Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this new strategy game, and we are returning to Let's Play Heart of Iron 4, playing against the Soviet Union. We have just beaten Nazi Germany, which is fantastic news, of course. Germany had been maxed out to, well, to the max, so they had received all of the uh, good modifiers uh, that they could. Nevertheless, we have broken through over here. We have uh, basically have got half of France, uh, most of the southern Germany, Austria. Uh, we are still here fighting over Italy and the Balkan region. Uh, in between episodes, I did go ahead and rearrange our air forces and all of that. Um, most of our armies are also rearranged. You can see they're not necessarily right where they need to be at this very moment. Uh, you can also see there are a couple of, sp especially Spanish divisions, just lurking around. Uh, they'll be squashed, of course. And then I uh, hope that our troops uh, will get back to basically the place uh, where they all need to be. So all of these guys here, for example, will go to France. Uh, these guys over here will be covered by the mountain divisions that are currently right up over here uh, which are going to try to push through the Alps um, and then all of this here is just go basically going to be dealt with various different armies um, other than that we do have one more army up here and another one over here um, so yeah there's one more army up here these mountain troops um, which we're going to ask to attack into Norway so that should be nice because for much too long time I've been ignoring Norway so yeah there we go uh, you guys are actually all all right, I think. So you're basically the winter army. Um, and I think what we're going to do with you is we're probably going to send you up over here um, to cover sort of the area here with Dictatorial Sinkiang, which is basically a potentially hostile nation against us at this point. Or you know what? We're going to cover southern Mongolia over here with these troops. That, I think, should be fine. Uh, let's define both of these front lines here for you. And half of you guys are going to be assigned to this, so that should be okay. Yeah, other than that, we are sort of waiting for the build-up over here, especially of, uh, let's say, um, yeah, while we're still fighting some of the German forces up here, for example, I do think over time uh, we are very likely to maybe end up in war against uh, some naval power. At the very least, uh, that's going to be Japan, uh, but, depend but potentially some further ones as well. Up over here, we are pushing up a little bit. You know what, can we... I'm going to try to make a push into this area here, just have these guys support you. And then I suppose one of you guys can support this as well. Yeah, so let's try to squeeze them out of there. That should be okay. Right, up over here. Ooh, there's a bit of a gap here. Oh, but okay, yeah, no, this is actually um, not Germany. This is actually Poland. So uh, liberated Poland has found a place back in history over here. So let's see whether they are going to survive. Um, this attack here just doesn't look altogether too promising, I think. So let's actually stop that. I don't fancy doing stupid attacks. Right, yeah. Still a lot of troops here. Um, so we have to be mindful about that. Okay, well, you have been beaten back. And you guys are coming in there. So that's great. That means you can advance as well. And you potentially want to... It's just a very weak unit over there. Couple of frontline actions over there that we do not necessarily support, but you know what? We have the manpower power to take some losses here, so I think that's going to be all right. Um, yeah, you, my friend, do support this attack here, so that we have another angle to attack from, which should be fine and lovely indeed. Right, um, you then, this tank, can later on get into this combat as well, and you know what? Over here, you guys, um, that's three divisions here. Let's try to advance on this flank here and see what we can do. I think we will be able to do something. So yeah, tanks are coming up over here. A lot of divisions are starting to to appear over here on these fronts. Um, let's make sure to advance if we can at all. Um, I would like to grab some of these cities, specifically banners and items like that, so that would be great. Um, if we could get to Milan, that would ought to be much appreciated here with these tanks. Although it's difficult, it is winter, we are advancing through the mountains here. Um, and a lot of these Italian troops are sort of getting into new positions as we are advancing down here. So, yeah. Hungary claims overlordship over Slovakia. Well, my friends, I don't think you're going to have a very good time for a long time there. So, yeah, I think that's all right. Okay. Uh, you guys have actually dealt with all of the remaining Germans up here. So, um, while that is quite lovely, what else do we need you to do? It's getting a little bit cramped in here and don't necessarily know whether we know how to allocate more forces here so I suppose what we can do is just set you up on a very s small front line over here um, and then have you sort of drive into Slovakia um, from that angle there so that should be okay and you guys 
you actually should be coming in here a little bit faster. So can you actually go here by rail? That would be much appreciated. Fantastic, thank you. Good. Over here, several attacks that are just going someplace or the other. It's okay. It would be great to get to Milan though. Yeah, fantastic, good stuff. Okay, we are defending over here, but I think we are actually doing not too badly. Well, we do have, we are a little bit low on organization, uh, but I suppose if we could reinforce that position, that would be very fantastic indeed. You know what, um, you, my friend, stop attacking there, that's stupid. Do try to support the defense here instead. And that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, um, also we've got a couple more units up here, so the motorized division here can try drive to Bolzano, uh, while you here might want to just drive up this way. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Good. Right, uh, let's keep an eye on the situation up here. That's all right. Italy has capitulated, giving us a lot of infantry equipment, which is super appreciated. German Reich calls to Hungary. Um, well, German Reich doesn't really exist anymore, so... Not really sure what that is about. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, over here, this has all been dealt with now. We have got Milan, we have got Venice, we don't have Bel Belzano, uh, which is unfortunate, but okay, what can we do? Right, so I suppose the next logical target then is to grab all of these mountain drips, put them on this side of the front, and actually delete this part of the front here, uh, because we definitely don't need that, so all of you, you know what, let's just select all and assign you here, that's great, and um, let's delete this, this here, you guys. Uh, do sort of vaguely form an attack into these mountains there um, and you know what that's actually the job of all of you so there we go fantastic good and uh, no there's also United States isn't it can I go here I cannot well what exactly is going on over here so we have Croatia, and you are indeed an ally of us now well if that is not good well not an ally of us you are in the allies so that's not quite the same well let's anyway uh, assign a couple of troops here and let's sort of try to attack into Hungary instead uh, you stop that that's a little bit stupid you know what all of you um, select all all of you are part of this front line here you, you understand that do you okay great okay a couple of attacks up here suppose um, one of you could support this attack here Yeah, let's try to support that right and up over here everything is fine yeah we are pushing on this bank of the river that's fantastic news you guys do try to get to Lyon there we go tank has advanced that's lovely let's try to grab Toulon itself before the Americans do that would be fantastic as well right and you guys do try to attack here that's all right, and I'm not sure exactly where Vichy France is and where it isn't, but I suppose we can advance down there. Let's try to see whether we can beat some enemies there, and that would indeed be nice. Well, Lyon, come on, I want to grab that city. Nice, good. Being counterattacked over there, that's okay. Vichy France surrendering. That is all very well. Okay, that's great. One of you go there. One of you is going to go here. You guys are all going in, into the central location there. You're now being attacked, that's okay. You don't need to go to Lyon, you don't, do need to go here. Right, and there we are, sort of killing the last pocket over here. Just a couple of Germans in that pocket, that's okay. The various joining the Allies, my friends, we are saved. Yeah, and they are indeed uh, called in as an ally, so that's nice and lovely. And you know what we can potentially do is just get a lot of more of you guys to attack so who are you you are some army can't quite see you okay that's you so that's attack you guys attack you know what? basically everyone should attack just just kill the faces wherever you find them go ahead just all of you yeah you as well there we go a lot of you guys tell me your your attack plans aren't necessarily matching up, but that's okay. Uh, well, you guys here actually do not want to attack. You guys here, stop it. We can do the attack and we'll throw them back, but I don't want to uh, conquer a lot of territory just for uh, the Turkish guys to have them. Right, Turkey is an ally, of course, but you don't, you know, we don't need to overdo it, actually. Right, okay, and we are a little bit 
shy on resources, specifically steel. You know what? Can we get more of that, please? Also, rubber, which we need to import from Japan, which is not quite a, that fortunate. In terms of production, I've rearranged things a little bit. We are now mostly producing fighters. We can actually do conversions here. I don't think we need to. Um, and we are also producing naval bombers, scout planes, tactical bombers. So a big shift towards the air force here, specifically towards naval bombers. And the reason for that is, of course, that we are thinking about potentially um, having some trouble with some uh, air units in the not too distant future. Okay, you guys, can you actually do pilot exercises? Um, and you scout planes, um, you should actually also just perform, let's say, over here. That should be okay. Right, there we go. Lots and lots of attacks happening. That's nice to see. Uh, and I think over here the, the Americans have actually sort of gotten the entire territory. So let's try to grab some territory. No. Yeah, well, no. I don't think we are going to get there in time. No. Okay, fine. Let's try to grab the last province here. Just the last things of, of Germany that we can carve out for ourselves. Yeah, the Americans have cut us off there. Dual purpose secondary guns. That's lovely. That should give our secret weapon, that I'm not going to talk about quite now, um, some some uh, oomph. So, yeah, that's nice. We are still designing light cruisers. So, obviously, you do know that I like light cruisers, if you've been following the channel for a while there. Right, we are still building medium batteries, so that's lovely to see. Don't think we need anything in particular over here. Let's think about naval doctrine for a second. And the one that I would like is the one... That gives light cruisers a lower visibility. And that's just organization, so no, floating fortress definitely not it. Battlefield concentration? No, no, all of these no. Was it base strike or was it trade interdict? I do not know. Okay, light cruisers surface detection? It's not it. We want to have our light cruisers being optimized for a very specific type of activity. Yeah, this one, radar patrols. Okay, so we want to switch out to trade interdiction over here. That does cancel fleet and being, but it's alright. It's it's going to be okay. Right, so all of you guys here, fine. Um, I, I think you did your job fairly well. Do we need you specifically anywhere else? Well, I guess we can grab the tanks here. Um, just the tanks, that's you guys. Um, and I would like you to be sort of part of the front line somewhere here in Hungary. Um, and then just sort of advance into deep into Axis territory. I, I think that should be okay. Right, you guys are going to do the same. Uh, do we see anyone else who sort of needs an order like that? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you guys are all not really dealing with Axis territory there, so that's alright. Let's try to go to Budapest here. Let's have you attack these guys here instead, just to pin, to pin them in, really, um, and then we try to gain um, access to Budapest. There's one guy, but he's been strategically redeployed, so he really shouldn't have much um, in terms of defensive strength. It is late November, not necessarily the best time to um, lead a war anywhere, really, uh, but you know what, with our overwhelming power over here, I think we are fine. Basic medium artillery, lovely as well, and um, let's continue that research a little bit over here. 58 days shouldn't take too long we have some free military factories you know what what I can do is grab one of you or just a couple of your factories um, and have an upgrade or just have our airplanes here being upgraded it's gonna take a while anyway because some of these factories have been destroyed and that's gonna be okay right and in terms of trade we do need yet more steel this is starting to get a little bit out of hand we do have a lot of, enough convoys though to buy all of this stuff so I think we are gonna be alright yeah we are building more of this stuff a lot of our factories are being repaired over here and we have a lot of infrastructure to repair uh, once this war is over basically don't think we're really gonna deal with that before that right Turkey has expanded down there just a little bit not really that much okay you're just coming here normally you could have taken the railroad fantastic okay you do take that province uh, and just the mechanized forces here. That's the second mechanized force. Where's the first mechanized force? You guys. Okay, do start your attack here. I think you'll have a fantastic time doing this. You should actually be assigned to this. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's also assign you to that. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think you should be breaking through there. 
Improved ship torpedo launcher. Also a nice research done over there. I think we can do that more. Yeah. It's another 60 days or so. That's alright. Should be doing pretty much fine there. Right. Are, are you capturing this? Or not? Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Good, yeah. All of this front line here is a little bit moot, but it's alright. Okay, um, you guys can all just sort of go here. Nice. Yeah, nice breakthrough over here with these troops. So that's fantastic to see. Yeah, and I think all along the front line basically we are seeing that some troops um, do make very good progress over here. Okay, you are fine over there, but what about you guys here? I think you don't really have an attack plan, don't you? Yeah, you're, you're just the same color, but that's more or less a coincidence. Right, who are you? That's you. Okay, let's try to attack there. Continue the offensive. And since I don't really see any opposition here, let's try to get to Sofia. By the way, a very lovely town. If you've ever been there, um, you'll notice. Uh, otherwise, I do have really encourage you to go there. Right. Fantastic stuff over here. Good. Yeah, let's try to grab that. Romania capitulating. More infantry equipment. More other equipment as well. So that's nice. Infantry equipment still being incredibly... Uh, we're still incredibly short on that. Okay, you guys just drive through this. You can do it. I know you can. Right, you guys do try to take them out. Yeah, and I think Hungary is also must be extremely close to capitulating. They are extremely big over here. Uh, but yeah, I don't... I don't suppose they can last for long right you guys also just let's plow through here I think with the tanks we'll be all right basically yeah and being cut off being cut into two like this that they 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 can't really maintain that for long I don't yeah it's just not possible right let's cut them more ways I think they are very close to getting full access around over here okay you guys do try to get that uh, new capital there uh, and you can try to get, grab that victory point and then just also slice them in another into various pieces over there good stuff nice 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 yeah and we're making some very good breakthroughs over here and um, things over here are you know, you're doing great but could you actually just try to go that way and then you guys are doing this that's okay let's grab this tank and come down here as well it's a lot of Spanish divisions just like sort of everywhere Okay, here are some interesting developments. So, a couple of things happening. Romania capitulating, because I guess we have captured Sofia. Yes. Wow. 30,000 infantry equipment. 2,500 motorized equipment. Another 10,000 infantry equipment. Well, that is fantastic. We have a lot of stuff now. That's, that's a great deal for us. And motorized equipment is also starting to look really good for the very first time here in ages basically I do need to check what is using armored cars because we're sh slightly shy on that don't think it's you no that's that's a no I think it's only you right you definitely are you guys uh, well you do have armored cars don't do we maybe want to do light tanks or something so if we switched out your your guys over here we would be that's fine actually, yeah, so let's do save that change, that should at least free up a couple of um, armored cars. Uh, and then what else have we got? Well, you don't, you have just military police, because we figured that was more efficient. Um, and these guys, well, the light tanks do have armored cars, which doesn't necessarily make a lot of that sense. Okay, let's also save this change. And then you guys, you also already have light tanks. Do we need anything else over here? Could do logistics. Not the worst idea. I mean, you're using up a lot of equipment there. Right, but that's okay. We don't need to do that. Okay. Slovakia also surrendering. Also giving us a good deal of infantry equipment. But also for the, for the first time here, Siam, Japan actually overtaking... Um, the British Raj. So that is extremely big news there for us. Right, um, and you know what? We can do more conversions here of these fighters. How many fighters have we got there? Seven. 
So yeah, I think that's going to be okay because as we are creating stuff, uh, they'll be becoming available and that's okay. And we are producing 40 over there. So yeah, I think we can allocate some more naval guys as well. Yeah, uh, getting back to the front lines. And um, so things over here are starting to look pretty good. Well, starting, they've been looking good for a while. Guys, do just advance into here. I think you're going to be all right. Um, and same over here. Let's actually get to niche. That's another victory point there. The Treaty of Vienna, my friends. So here we go. This is the end of the war in the West. So we have a lot of a lot of score compared to everyone else. So the question is, what exactly do we want to do with that? Now, I think we do potentially, of course, basically start at our border and and sort of push um, west from there. I think that'd be that'd be great. Right. We also do need to lead look at Romania down there because they are producing a lot of oil and we are a little bit charmed that actually which is a little bit surprising but um, still potentially something to keep in mind then there's Hungary and of course Poland itself Poland has been suffering from quite a bit of unrest but yeah so do we want to pass uh, which would give us 800 more more points over here um, I think we can do that because there's nothing specifically very far away or anything that I do want to grab. Yeah, nothing down here. Well, Belgium. Can I actually grab Belgium? I could. Well, that's interesting because that does contain some rubber. Um, on the other hand, most of the rubber in the world really is in this region, so it's not that worthwhile. Is there any specific base that we want to grab? Ooh, up over here. That's a lot of victory points, but it's also interesting location just because we can basically be very close to the US here and, and maybe start some, some mischief. So let's take to Curaçao and the area down here. That should give us a lot of oil and a lot of aluminium, so that's nice. Don't need these islands then. Do we need anything specific? Well, we could grab that from Denmark, which is kind of hilarious. Nothing else over here. Nothing specific that does allow us to reach anyone. Well, we could take Vietnam for the rubber. So basically into China. I think that's a good good aspiration to have a base down there in Southeast Asia. So, yeah. I think these are already pretty good bases for us. Nothing down here in Africa. Well, we could take Madagascar. That would sort of form a nice base, right? So if we have some some imperial aspirations, it's only 12 victory points, so I think that's okay. Could grab a lot of these small islands, islands, but I don't really think that we need or want to. We're still considered to be the British Raj. This is an amazing amount of victory points. How on earth does Ethiopia be is, how is that 400 victory points? And 180? It's just not that it's not sensible at all. Yeah, some of these areas just have an enormous amount of victory point costs associated with especially in Africa. Compare that to Europe. I mean Berlin itself is 115 victory points, so Berlin is is about a quarter of it of Ethiopia. And just the same as Mali. Something is off here guys. Something is really, really, really strange. Yeah, somewhat. This just plainly doesn't make sense. Okay, fine though. So yeah, let's do concentrate on what we want to take potentially. So I think Bessarabia definitely does make some sense because it's sort of our territory. Mimel, Königsberg, um, Masuria, I think are all definitive locations that we do want to take and we want to take them now. So I guess we can go a little bit further there. In, in Europe specifically. Let's take Southern Bessarabia as well. The area up here, do we need it? It does only have a couple of factories. Why why would it be so high down here? I just, sorry guys, I just can't get over that. Is it rubber? No. It's just it's just absurd. So Poland well, we pretty much all of Poland that historically the Soviet Union took for itself. Although, on the other hand, it did take over um, a lot of the 
territory as such, right? Okay, so just look at this. So the right, this area here, the industrial heartland of Germany, it's basically worth a lot less than other regions there. Okay, so I think we can basically take all of Germany here. Yeah, so let's grab all of this. Tools make a lot of sense. There's a lot of points here, but I think it's alright. Is there anything specifically too expensive? Brandenburg is pretty expensive, but it's alright. There's Austria down there. We don't need to look at that right now. But what we can do is just take Poland as well. Just take Poland for ourselves, not sort of as a puppet, just for ourselves. Yeah, and Lublin as well. And there I'm going to end the turn. So all of this is ours now. What are the other guys doing? So you're liberating Czechoslovakia, uh, which is interesting because Czechoslovakia doesn't exist. Liberate Senegal, liberate Czechoslovakia again, and liberate the Republic of Guadeloupe. Really, that were your objectives for this war. Well, that's peculiar. Okay, uh, I'm going to pass now just to see whether we can get a couple more points, which we do. That should allow us to grab a little bit more there. Do we think Denmark is useful? Yes. I, ooh, 87 points. Well, that's a lot. Jutland is definitely useful. Only 39 points there. These areas, quite valuable. None of this is very specifically industrialized or anything. And in terms of, let's say, Romania. were to pop at you. That would work out, right? Yeah, that does work. Okay. It's kind of weird that you're legionary, Romania. You know what? Let's not call that re legionary Romania. Let's just take it for ourselves. Uh, because I'm kind of afraid what would happen otherwise to, to the game here. Uh, I think there's a tendency for this to break um, if we do it like this. Okay, fine. Let's grab Austria. Hungary we're going to ignore for now. We've taken all of this there. So let's end the turn here. What did the Americans do? Supervised state. But too bad it just doesn't exist anymore. Change government. Yeah, that does make sense. We've got free France. We've got Hungary there. Okay, so Hungary, if we can pop at you, and can we do more things to you? Well, let's grab it first, so that should be okay. Right, and then we've got Luxembourg down there with a little bit of steel. Steel is fine. Belgium, how much are you costing? Oh, sounds like a lot of points. There's no specific resource that we're extremely short of at this moment. Except, well, basically all of them, but not specifically over there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's Romania now. That's a democratic Romania. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Okay, fine. Though, yeah, what else that do we don't do then? Well, Hungary. We are puppeting them. Could take Albania. Makes some sense. Did we take Madagascar? Yeah, we sort of took. Some of these surrounding islands, maybe? Nah, it's not really required. All of these areas is stupendously expensive. That was probably liberated. Yeah, so really the question is what are we going to do with the rest of these areas here? Okay, let's do take this here. Let's end turn. So we've got Tunisia, Algeria. Yeah, a lot of these areas up here north. Niger, Lebanon. Yeah, it's all of these basically. All of the northern African states. And let's pass here. See what else they're going to do. Syria, Mali, Central. Yeah, so they are liberating a lot of these states here. Can we liberate to Somalia? Yeah, we can liberate a lot of these things. To Somali Sultanate. Okay, let's do that. Does that account for all of you? 
Well, that's a little bit awkward then. So you need Lither These are all so expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna go with S Somaliland there as a friendly nation. I don't know if the others are really that available to us, right? You know what? Let's not do that. Let's pass another time. Now the British are actually acting here for the first time. They are satelliting a lot of these states up there. So we do have a lot of a lot of points now. I'm guessing we can take the Netherlands. Or basically all of the low countries. Sounds like a good deal. Right, then there's Lebanon. Don't really want to take that. Well, we can take this state here. Let's do take over Belgium. In this area. As well. So we have basically all of Belgium. Yeah, that's nice. Still only 600 points. So, yeah, I suppose we can start to eat either into France or into Italy. Let's go with Italy so that we have some... 200 points, really. So that we have some access here to sort of the Mediterranean. And I think that would make a lot of sense also historically. Then I suppose we can take all of these things over here. Sort of northern France up until... Well, basically all of this, right? Sort of most of France. There we go. Libya, Eritrea, Slovenia, Djibouti, Tahiti, supervised state, Faroe Islands, <laughs> and change the government of the Faroe Islands. Sure, if that is what's most important to you, fine. We're going to go ahead with that. I think it's due to the fact that these provinces are potentially occupied by someone else. Yeah, that must be it. Otherwise, I don't. I don't get the cost differential here for some of these areas. Let's take roads over there. And turn with this. We can do that. We're going to pass over here. And see what else we can actually grab now at this point. Right, so there's Free France, Denmark, Vichy France, Italy. It's basically only Italy remaining there. Well, and France. So which area is specifically important for us? Piedmont? That area up there? Is there any, no, I thought it was only 75 points. No, all of this is hugely expensive. Okay, let's pass a couple of times here. And then grab basically what remains. There we go. Come on, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Soviet Union. So we don't really have enough manpower to just, let's give this a couple of days here just to settle. Um, yeah, we don't really have enough manpower to, to really occupy all of this terrain. You can see specifically a lot of this terrain has been has been increased in, in its resi resistance and that's just not super helpful for us at this moment. So yeah. Who are you? Ah, oh, you're Czechoslovakia, so you did get carved out in the end. We've got Yugoslavia here. So I can actually look at the factions. Yeah, so the allies are sort of weirdly interlooped so if that's not room for conflict I don't Ooh, Norway pretty much all of Norway has been uh, taken by the allies there didn't quite pay enough attention to Norway I think even though the northern part of Norway is is not really that drastically important 
Right, what we can do though is basically get rid of all of these purchases here of aluminium and steel because apparently we don't really need that. So let's drastically alter these things. Yeah, we don't really need to buy anything of that anymore. Right. So that is actually fantastic. Free France, yeah, we're going to give you military access because why not? Um, expeditionary forces are being called back. There's a lot of resistance against occupation. Um, rubber, really. Yeah, you do need a little bit more rubber here. So let's actually buy that. That's fine. Um, do we get more decisions in regards to what we could build up? Socialist education. Okay, so here is something that we can do in Hungary. Because apparently Hungary is, well, you are communist, but not fully. So, yeah, I think... Invite a faction. You are not already in a faction? You must be part of this faction, right? And you're still trying to proclaim Greater Hungary. Well, I don't know whether that is a good decision, my friend. But yeah, so that would all of these would cost us a little bit of political power, but that's okay. That would be theoretically fine. We can recruit in a lot of nations. And we can build up our steel production, which we don't need at this point. So that's all all right. War support is still high. Stability is extremely high. So that's all good. We're producing stuff with no template. That's fine. We don't. We have low men power. That's not really true. We do have a lot of exile divisions uh, potentially up here in Norway. Yeah, you guys um, do come home. Um, and that's fine. Yeah, good, good. So very nice result over here in Europe. Now, the next question is, of course, Japan and the Allies. So, yeah, what do we think of these? Do let me know in the comments. Uh, do we want um, me to continue this game? Uh, or shall we call it a day here uh, by having conquered uh, the Nazis themselves? Are we going to get into conflict with the Allies? Um, yeah, do let me know what you think. Um, and I look forward to receiving your comments. Until then, uh, bye bye and hope to see you around.